Hello and welcome. It's time to add to our Cloverleaf Manor or our Grand Hotel, depending upon whether you are a Sylvanian Families or Calico Critters follower. We need a children's bedroom in there. There's nothing for the children to sleep on. So I have here the children's bedroom furniture. Here's all the little bits and pieces that are in there. But honestly, let's get it open so we can have a good look. Here we go. All right, I can see the beds first. Let's get rid of some of this cardboard packing. And here we have one children's bed. And we'll pop it over here. Makes a very excellent broom as well for moving everything else out of the way. We'll pop it over here and we will get the other bed. And as you can see, they are a matched pair. But the best bit are the little holes in the bottom of the feet because they are bunk beds. What kid doesn't want bunk beds? Till they fall out of one in the middle of the night and they realise they're not as much fun as they look. Hold on, I've got these around the wrong way. Let's line them up so that the little, the little motifs are all at one side. There they go. There, that's better. Now they're up the right way. Now this bunk bed needs a ladder and that's in this package. So let's open this one up. I don't think I need the scissors for this one. Use my fingernails to get the sticky tape off. Here we go, the ladder to get up to the top bunk. Very important, it's got little notches and it doesn't hang, so if it doesn't hang, it must have to be pressed into these little, into these little slots here. Here we go, and it just clicks in. There we go, nice secure ladder for the children of the Sylvanian family to pop up into the top bunk and jump up and down on the bed up there. Now, these beds aren't finished yet. We need some mattresses and they come with two mattresses. They are soft and they are silky. That's their covers. And inside them is a little bit of squishy foam. So they really are very cozy. We'll pop one up the top. Definitely squishy. And one down the bottom. We'll try putting it in from the back. There we go. Beautiful, these beds are taking very nice shape. What do we put next? Oh yeah, matching pillows. Look at this, more squishiness inside. A pillowcase on the outside, very nice detail. A green one for the green mattress and a pink one for the pink mattress. Oh, and I've just made the ladder fall off, so we might put that back on. There we go. All right, we also have some blankets here as well. So let's get the blankets out. Can you see that these match the color scheme? You've got a lovely red or pinky one and oh look, the bottom side's all fluffy. Fluffy and warm and cozy. And they are gonna wrap around the little children so nicely. They're gonna be so snug and warm. There, pat that one down and a green one for the green mattress. We'll keep the colour scheme going. We can mix and match it later. There. Snug. Those beds are perfect. There is so much detail. There are lots of details in all these sets. But I love the beds. I love how squishy they are. Now, not only are they squishy, but they also come with some little furry friends to go with the children. Be able to get this one open with my fingers. Let's grab the scissors. Can you see what it is? It's a little teddy. It's not actually a teddy. I think it's it's a is it a squirrel or a chipmunk? And I'll tell you why. Look, the little red nose. But look at the back. It's got a little fluffy tail. There we go. That one's a little well, a little teddy squirrel. <laughs> Very cute. Okay there's another one here somewhere where is it where are you up oh, oh, through your way no scissors there we go so let's see this one is a teddy look at you teddy you're just darling you are absolutely adorable you've got a little cotton tail little button tail yeah a little little dark brown teddy with black button eyes. Oh, you can go in the bottom bunk. Some beautiful child is going to love you so much. 
Now, the other main accessory here is a desk. Is it a desk or is it just a, I don't know, a cupboard hold all? It's got these two sections down, oh, all the drawers fall out when I tip it forward. Easy runner drawers, <laughs> they go in and out very nicely. They've got an A, B and a C on them. And the bottom have got some doors if I can squeeze them open, like that. There, so you can put all sorts of bits and pieces in there. Get them up off the floor when the children are tidying their room. They've got the numbers across them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we've got oodles of little tiny things that go on this, so let's get them open. things I have to make sure I don't leave any of them in the packaging. All right what's well, this one? Can you see? If I can focus in up close can you see the little notches on it? It's an old-fashioned wooden ruler. Now that's gonna come in handy come homework time when they have to rule all their margins make their lines straight. This little green pot thing is a pencil holder because it comes with these two cute little pencils. They're quite long, delicate little pencils. Look, see? Here we go. So there's a pink one and there is a yellow one too. But they're not coloured pencils, they're lead pencils. For doing your homework in, not pen. Here we go, hop up there. And this funny looking thing which looks like a sideways bunny. Oh, I know what this is. That's really cute. Look at the detail in that. This is a bookend to hold the books in. Well, that means there must be some books. Hop over here, little bunny bookend, and let's go and look for some books. This is them. Now these little grey bits of plastic grey greeny bits of plastic don't look much like books so I know for a fact that there are some sheets of stickers over here somewhere so we will decorate them in just a minute let's get the stickers open Look, here's a little pamphlet of a whole heap of Sylvanian family's goodies. Well, I'll look at that later. Circle what I'll buy next. Now this is the... This is all the stickers, I think. And this is a nice firm cardboard sheet. So let's start with the stickers. Yep, definitely a sticker sheet. Now this one... Yep, yeah, this one is one of the book covers. So let's peel that off and very carefully line it up with the edge wrap it around and let's see can you read what that says it is wildflowers and trees of Sylvania so that's going to be very important for their biology lessons and their whole horticulture lessons I'm just making this up as I go along and there's another purple one here so let's put that on the other book This one is called The Book of Needlework. Obviously that's still a very important thing to be learning in the Sylvanian city. So there we go. We'll look, they look beautiful in there. Now there are a couple of other stickers here. There is a poster to stick on the wall in the bedroom. And there is a growth chart. What a cute little growth chart with all those little footprints up the side. Now we might put that on the side here. So let's get that off. And you watch me try and line this up so that it's straight. This is not going to be as easy as it looks. So, yep, the top's straight. There, I didn't do too badly first time. Here we go, so there's a growth chart so the little animals, the little critters, can line themselves up and see how much they've grown each year, or each day if they're really eager. All right, the cardboard bits and pieces. Now we've got a nice variety here let's snap out this first and you can see that this is a timetable this is their weekly timetable all the things they have to do can we stick it on the side of here no we can't it's a bit wide so we might put that up on the wall when we pop it in the bedroom pop it down here for now 
What else is here? Ah, now this one is the music book. We go for music work. Let's pop it in here behind the little bunny rabbit. And it does not squeeze shut very well, so it's taking up all the available space up there. Here's another one. A little pink notebook. Maybe one of the one of the critters would like to write their secret diary in there. Ooh. I'm trying to squeeze it down. They do not shut well. And junior math. Very important that they do some junior maths. There it is, junior maths book. Put it up there. Don't forget to take it to school tomorrow if you've done your homework. And now it's all, look at that, I'm trying to squish it in. Ah, it's all falling out. I'm squeezing this one really hard to see if I can get it to shut. I'm bending it back. And it made no difference whatsoever. So I might have to squish these shut with some, with some sticky tack. Yeah, we'll, we'll squeeze the bookend on here and pretend that it's tidy. Now it really looks like a children's bedroom. Right, what are these little rectangles down here? They are... They're letters! The first two are letters anyway. Maybe the other ones are photos. So here we go, one little letter. Look at the stamps, the little bunny stamps. And these ones might be photos, do you think? Photos or pictures that the children have drawn? I don't know. They're very cute. All right, let's grab these and compile them together. And there's a nice little slot for letters and bits and pieces up here. There we go. Now that looks nice and full. All right, let's go and let's go and put it in the house. Here we go, a nice empty room. So we shall put the bunk beds in first. There are a lot of windows and I don't like to cover over the windows with furniture, but we're just going to have to so you can see them all. We'll put this over here. And well, that's all the furniture done. <laughs> we'll put the timetable up on the wall. I've just used some sticky tack so that we can move it around if we like. And here we go, here are some children. The chocolate rabbit family and they're having a look around. What do you think? Ooh, here we go. I want the top bunk. Now, see, if you're both just going to fight about the top bunk, because I know that the brother rabbit's going to want the top bunk too. You do, don't you? Yes. I can tell in your eyes that you want the top bunk. So there's going to be no top bunk. I think we might separate these beds. Out you get. Let's take these beds out. Ladder off. And let's separate them and put them on either side of the windows. We'll put this in the middle. There we go. I like that. That actually looks a lot more cosy and a lot more balanced. There. Now nobody gets to fight over the top bunk. Come back in, little rabbit children. Come and have a look. There you go. There you go, sister rabbit. What do you think? Yeah, yep. It's very bouncy. Yes, you are correct. Bouncy. Ooh, yep. You like all the books too? <laughs> would you like to tuck it? Would you like to check your teddy bear? Ooh, he's squishy. He's a squishy, bendy teddy bear. Look at this. Let's bring you in close. Quite excited about this. Look. Ooh, it's squishy. <laughs> so very cozy to cuddle. What about this one? Is this one squishy? No, this one's hard. I wonder why. I wonder why they're made differently. I don't know. All right, Sister Rabbit, grab your teddy, tuck him under your arm, and let's grab your blanket and we'll tuck you into bed. Mwah! There we go. That's your good night kiss. They're all tucked in, even your feet, so they don't get cold. Come on, Brother Rabbit, your turn. Here, here's your little teddy. Tuck him under your arm and let's tap you. Oop, there we go. Tuck you in. And pop your blankie on. There, oh, your teddy's fallen out. Here we go, pop 
Teddy back in. There. Nighty night, little rabbit children. You have a lovely night's sleep. I'm going to see you again really soon. Well, the children's bedroom is done. We're going to add some more to it in the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe and press like and leave me a comment. And I will see you next time very, very soon.